I didn't sign Aaron Spelling, but I, since most of his shows were on ABC, I got involved quite a bit with him. And I spent a lot of time out here and became good friends with Aaron. Uh, we socialized, we played ball, uh, we visited. I was the only outside person at his marriage to Candy Spelling, because I wouldn't believe he was getting married. So I said, I don't believe it. He said, no, no. I said, well, I'm flying out. And I was the only one that took one. There were so many shows. I was clearly involved with him with Mod Squad, with, uh, with uh, Honey West, with uh, all, all his shows. I don't know really where it started, but we got close. Uh, we were roughly the same, you know, not quite the same age. And I would come out here a lot. He wouldn't get on a plane. He wouldn't, you know, he never came to New York because he wouldn't fly. So I was carrying a lot of his, you know, his requests. He was in business with various people. He was in business with Four Star for a while. He was doing shows for them, Dick Powell. Then he was in business with Danny Thomas and Sheldon Leonard. Then he was in business with Len Goldberg. So I kind of lived through those three phases. Um, uh, got to know him quite well. I mean, he trusted me when he was romancing his wife, and she would wisely leave town and go to New York so he would want her more. He'd call me and say, hey, baby, take care of her. She's in New York. Buy her this, buy her that. Okay, man, whatever. I mean, but so we got to know each other quite well. There was a period in time they, where they didn't socialize when he got married with Candy, and they lived in this big house, and the only ones who would be there would be my wife and myself. And we'd play cards, and we'd sit there. And not in a new house. That I, we had a falling out for many years, which has now been reinstated, so I didn't see the new house. But uh, we were quite involved. I don't know what show it started on. I remember, Larry Gordon denies this, but I remember Mod Squad being invented in a car ride one day between Aaron Spelling, myself, and Larry Gordon. And Larry Gordon was the driver. And Larry Gordon said, no, no, I came up with the idea. I said, no, we all three of us, we invented a show. So that was Mod Squad, I remember that one. Uh, Talk a bit about Aaron professionally. To what do you attribute his just phenomenal success and longevity? His love, his care, his involvement, he, do, he touches everything, he doesn't let go, and, he, and he's talented. Well, I should start with his talent, it starts first. He's, a, he's really a student of television, he understands television and never really cared to get that much into the motion picture world. And, I mean, he'll read every script. He'll get involved in every casting show. He doesn't have to. I just dropped him a note the other day. I said, you're my hero. You sold another show. I mean, you know, at this stage of the game, you sold another show. Um, I think that's had a lot to do with it. I mean, he started, he learned, he was a writer. He was an actor. He started as an actor. He became a, a good writer and then a good producer. And had the knack, and also had the timing of when a new thing would come into style, and he was there with the idea. And I think he was dedicated to the television industry and proved it. 